Let's check what's happening on the Reddit. Hanyi is a famous Chinese leaker. Leaks that Doinbi is 07. What do you mean he's 07? There was news that he bought one of the most expensive townhouses in Seoul called Hamnam Hill, all in cash. Wait, is he arrested? Han Yi said that the following gambling and money laundering allegations against Doinbi, he escaped to South Korea and is now unable to return to China. Doinbi's wife has also fled to South Korea with their children. What the fuck? What is this all doing? Like, I know there was a scandal, but fuck me, what's going on there? So I think sources tell me that it's likely that Doinbi won't be returning to the LPL. <laughs> what the fuck happened there? Military incoming then? Yeah, I guess he won't be able to avoid military then. In case anyone's wondering, people started calling Doinbi Maya because Maya is his catchphrase in Chinese, which roughly means, oh my god. And it's really funny to see the Maya civilization has fallen when talking about him. Okay. Jesus Christ. I mean, basically what happened is LCK for the remainder of the split is now online um, pre-recorded. So basically what that means is the LCK start times have changed. So today they start at 1 and 3, 30. Tomorrow, they normally start at 7 a.m. They're actually going to start at uh, 11 a.m. So the times have been pushed back a shit ton. So if you're a, if you're a EU frog and you always miss the LCK, then uh, you'll get nicer start times, a lion, you know. Um, but I think this is happening for the remainder of the split. Yeah, it is. So this is for the next four weeks. I think there's four weeks left of spring split. Maybe five? How many weeks are there until playoffs chat? Four weeks? Five weeks? What do you mean caught? What is caught? So this is a wild story. So there was a, a guy I knew who used to run these online WoW tournaments. And a couple of them in a row were just getting spam DDoS to the point where they were like ruined, right? And there was like decent prize money online. At the, at the time, it was like 10k, which was like really good for an online event back then. Um, and the guy actually, like his day job, he worked uh, at the Pentagon for the Department of Defense. So... He, what? So uh, crazy crossover it is a crazy crossover. Uh, so when he was when he was hosting the tournament, like he he was like, oh, I'll I'll, I'll stream it, like I'll host it. So he he VPN through his work network through the Pentagon, and then they tried to DDoS the Pentagon, Ooh. and apparently the people got insta arrested. What? Who tries to DDoS the Pentagon? What kind of dumb fuck does that? What? The hell is wrong with you? I'm gonna DDoS the Pentagon through a VPN. Bro, what are you on about? You're gonna DDoS the Pentagon through a VPN. Bro, you're fucking gone in five seconds, buddy. Rookie topping in regular season. I've seen this script before. V5 days. Oh my god, the V5 days. Who was it they lost to? Who was it they lost to in the, in the, in the first round of playoffs? They got knocked out by LNG or some shit, didn't they? Oh wait, it was by Weibo! I expected or was it LNG? It I swear it was LNG. Lil bro is cooking again. Is he playing Talia support in solo queue carrier? You rat. Okay, that's disgusting. Uh, carrier just received a package of 625 chocolate snacks. <laughs> it's bigger than him! On Meteor and Shaoya. I think if Shaoya gets it's not going to be fun. We've seen Draven fall behind before. Oh, the dev update. We got five minutes. Let's watch this. AKA Rye Brightman. And I'm Pew, AKA Pew Pew Lasers. You might notice that Medler isn't with us today. And that's because he's out getting married. So congratulations Ooh, to the Ooh, congrats, couple. Medler. Don't worry. You'll see him again soon. Not invited to the wedding. No. Well, but today is Thursday, February 15th. So anything that happens after that date won't be covered. Today. February 15th. We really hope. What the hell? We've enjoyed the start of season 2024 so far, and we'll have Riot Frox on here to talk about some learnings and what we're doing next. After that, we'll be back to give you some updates on Vanguard, the new co-op versus AI bots, and a few other topics. Hey everyone, I'm Matthew Long Harrison, AKA Riot Froxon. I like Riot Froxon. gameplay designer in League. Last year, we made the decision to remove preseason and shift those changes to line up with the start of the new ranked season this past January. Not only did it give you all some additional time to hit your ranked goals, but it also made the beginning of the year a more he exciting actually time to, to everyone. League. We've seen some awesome moments with the new changes. He's a homie. We're also happy with the state of gameplay balance, game stability, and the new objectives. Although we've seen a few especially funny bugs come up. 
We also feel good about the current state of champion balance, game pacing and snowballing, and the new void objectives, which are creating more interesting gameplay opportunities around pushing lanes. That said, it wasn't all smooth. One of our big goals was shifting power from items to champions by reducing the amount of haste and stats that items provided. Nice. We also wanted to make items more satisfying for damage-oriented classes by removing less desired stats, like health. But making these changes resulted in more burst and was exacerbated by overtuned damage items like Blood Song and Storm Surge. We've taken yeah, Storm Surge was mega busted, this, but they've nerfed it. But now Storm Surge is the worst item in the game. to where we were after the durability update. We'll talk more in depth about the MMR system in a future dev update, but I specifically wanted to address the seeding of new players as well as negative LP gains, which are two topics we've seen a lot of recently. At the end of last season, roughly half of Emerald players were in prolonged states of negative LP gains, with this increasing to 85% in Masters Plus. With the changes this season, though, we've reduced this to 5%. For players below Ooh. Emerald, who's... Damn, that's pretty good. 85% of people were in negative LP gains last year, and now it's 5 Ranks fluctuate a lot. There's always going to be... Have you guys noticed your LP gains are better? ...some periods of negative LP gains for short periods of time. But we're continuing to minimize it by adjusting those gains and losses, which will make climbs more consistent. Finally, we've fixed most of the bugs with You're some... still negative? Use. Yeah, well, maybe don't lose 15 games in a row. ...players erroneously placing in gold or plat. We're still trying to improve our accuracy with these placements and continuing our work to better separate smurfs and new players and place them correctly. Overall... We're really excited at how everything is shaping up for Ranked and the gameplay changes this year. But we'll keep an eye on your feedback and make adjustments as you continue I'm not lives. paid by Riot. So I'll hand Red. things over to Pew and Jeremy for the rest of the update. Yo, can we fucking... Like, I agree with Yamato, man. When are the Senna nerfs coming in? Look at this chat. How is she just fucking snuck past everyone? 14-4, highest win rate. 14-3, highest win rate. 14-2, highest win rate. 14-1, highest win rate. How is she... Motherfuckers talking about Cassante. How is this bitch skipping every patch note, bruh? She's busted! Nerf that bitch. Now. Next patch she's getting nerfed, is she? Okay, then good. As you know, at season notes. start, we announced that Vanguard would be coming to League. You may have already started to see some of the elements hit the PvE. Vanguard is a big change. Someone said that the reason the LCK is getting DDoSed is because that hackers can't sell their hacks anymore because of Vanguard. So they're taking it out on Riot by DDoSing them. So they don't release Vanguard so they can still make a living from being hackers. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. Change. So it's important for us to minimize the impact it could have on your Apparently ability to play League. Our version of Vanguard will be customized specifically to target the cheaters, scripters, and bots we see in League of Legends. We're also adopting a rollout method that will help us learn more about how it's impacting players before we roll out to all the regions. So we'll start with one region first. We'll closely monitor everything as players get into games with Vanguard Live. So we'll be evaluating how Vanguard runs in that region and how players are experiencing it. Yo, Cyber! targeted global release in April. Thank you so much for we'll 25 sure gifted you subs. all updated on any adjustments we make and how it's going. Now let's talk about- Yo, why are you gifting so many subs, man? Thank you for the 25 gifted, man. Big kiss, thank you so much. Everyone's at him, say Pog. So chat, they're releasing Vanguard. I've seen Vanguard's really controversial. Some people just don't want it. Uh, bots. After you all beat them up on PBE, they went away for a little bit for some TLC and Thank adjustments. Thank you so much, by the way. But they're ready to return once again. You're the goat The cyber. new intro, beginner, and intermediate bots will be out in March. We'd love to get your feedback once again, so please read more about them in a dev blog that's it out right now. It fucks your PC. All right. We also wanted to give you a rundown on the upcoming prestige skins. After Evelyn and Kale get their prestige skins, it will be Yumi and Leona coming in July. We also have the next mythic theme, Crystallis Indominus. It's coming in March. This is a continuation of the Crystallis Modus theme, which you can read all about in today's dev blog. This chat is so Kha'Zix, ill. Zerath, and Nautilus will be receiving skins this time around, with Kha'Zix leaping out first in March. All right, that's it for today's updates. Be sure to check out the dev blogs, and before we see you next time, Damn, there might be that looks a couple sick. surprises in April. Jeremy? Do you like nachos? Like, I love nachos, especially with extra cheese. Choo-choo! All aboard the nacho train. Come on. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Sorry, what? Bro, they must have some April Fool's thing going on. They're going to do some April Fool's thing. Chat, listen, you're sitting there telling me that Vanguard is going to get all your PC logs and like personal shit, whatever the fuck, I don't know, it's going to get your info. Motherfucker, you...
sign up to web services with your whole fucking PC IP addresses and you skip all the terms and conditions, you download shit tons of programs, your IP, everything is already being tracked by everyone from Amazon to fucking God knows what. They sell your data for money and they fucking milk you live and direct. And you're sitting there yapping about Vanguard? Tyler one flames core JJ. What did what did core JJ do? There he goes, running it down already. There he goes, already doing it again. Does he hate Face core JJ or what? Air. What the fuck? You're about to have a kid, by the way, and you're typing to random people like this. Hopefully, she isn't like our support. I failed as a parent. If that's the case. What the My fuck? My daughter is ever like this piece of shit. I have failed as a parent. T1 Cinna plus shit ass for JJ. How do you win, bro? How do you win? This should Core JJ play Champions Q because unfortunately all the other pros are equally as dog shit as he is and just stealing money. So they don't actually. Bro, Tyler's been Champions unchained the last few months. Like Champions he's just so fucking much, flaming. Just shut down Champions Q, guys. So it is what it is. Win actually, man. You win, you win. You win, you win, bro. You win, you win, moron. He's just trolling, by the way. He's just Holy actually fuck. trolling. So fucking annoying. Play against this guy, though. I swear to God, he'd 1v9 smurf. Play with them two games in a row just running it down. Completely running it down. It, I, I, it's so insane to play. Was he actually running it down, or was he just a BG? I don't actually know the context. Yeah, he was. Nice try, guys. The game was winnable until we. Uh, by we, I mean my dipshit fucking disgusting support. He does a vod review later, and he looks like he was running it. Oh yeah, he's running it. Oh yeah, he's running it. <laughs> believe I now got griefed by Pink Ward two games, obviously though, and then griefed by Core JJ back to back games. Just completely running it the fuck down. Actually can't believe it. That's so crazy how bad this game's gotten now. Like I, I he and it's not like he's literally running it down by the way. Watch his VOD. He's actually two games in a row running it down. I have what the fuck is going like are you serious bro? Like I, I Alright, this one I think he gets Blitzcrank pulled. Right? But, I mean, he's standing in a useless spot, but nobody else is really, honest to God, nobody else is defending, so it's this one, not even his fault. Like, if he's standing in this push from start, he still dies. Okay, first death's not, is, is like forgivable first death. These deaths are what I have a problem with. Like, this is legitimately inting. Right? His, we're playing for Dragon. He's randomly walking up. Right? Hmm. And he's getting, just ate, eating a hook. Just dying. For fun. Like, the hmm. team's fighting right here. What is he even doing, by the way? Hmm. What is this a fucking little bit, A little bit int. I mean... <laughs> If it was a pro game, obviously he's running it, but solo queue, it's like... Alright, let's watch this didn't. one. Not as int. Not super egregious. I mean, this one, they get ganked. Honestly... This one, nothing he can do. Still dog shit. These guys aren't warding, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Defend him? I'm not defending him. I'm just giving an unbiased How opinion. this one, though? Yeah, we're pretty low HP.
Damn, we're pretty low HP here. There's no wave. Okay, now we, we should back off. off. We miss Q. All right, now what? Okay, play's done. Yeah. Now we should base. Play's done. Oh wait, no, wait. First, okay, wait. Never mind. It's it, it's winnable, winnable, winnable. Maybe Blitzcrank just won't hook. We win this! We win this! It's a dub! It's a dub! It's a dub! It's a dub! Fight! 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 Oh! 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 Didn't see that coming for a third consecutive time, retard. What the what fuck? Is. Let's walk up. Okay, the wave's completely pushed. Oh! Let's walk and eat another hook! What are we even doing? Bro, this is a joke, by the way. That hook was kind of like unlucky, but yeah, he's in He's actually just team. running it down. Like, okay, okay, it wasn't, so yes, right, okay that wasn't even unlucky. That was disgusting. What is he walking for? That was for? disgusting. Why is he even right-clicking forward, by the way? That one was Sina disgusting. has no souls to get, no stacks. That one was disgusting. All right, so he dies there. It's fine. He's respawning. All right, another back. And... Oh, okay, he's kind of ending with that pathing already. Another 1v2 situation here. What happens? Okay, he's running it. <laughs> like, it's not real. It's, it's, it's not real, by the way. It's disgusting, actually. Lego's what he's dead. doing there. Fountain. Sinus right here. Do we have vision of a single player on the map? We don't have vision of a single player on the enemy team. No jungle, no blitzkrank. And he goes to this play. No, it was a bit disgusting. Okay, that was incredibly disgusting. Not even a bit. <laughs> he's running it. <laughs> the problem is him going in was because they have no side push so obviously he gets collapsed on no matter where he runs actually weren't up gold here but yeah we lost the game here the game's still even though Okay, he's running it. Why is he basing there? He's basing in the lane. He could just base around the corner. <laughs> okay, he buffers his Q on Talia's combo. Okay. Yeah, a bit didn't. Quite, quite grief. And then apparently he got into the game before as well by by. I mean, something has to be done. Core JJ first timing Smolder. Like I, I don't know. <laughs> Fucking waste of time. Yeah, I, I'm scared to check his stack. Should I do it? Why does anyone who used to be anybody always toss games on your team? I have no idea, bro. Anybody who was somebody, to get them on my team, run it. Yo, I just pressed my Smolder stacks and I don't want to say it out loud. So. <laughs> what is that emote? <laughs> Yes, and again, Tonka T is winning a counter matchup. Wow, how does he do it? I mean, Zillion will always be useful. This guy, never. He's 44 CS running in their base. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys his stacks right now. His stacks are 39. What is going uh, on? Yeah, so that's pretty good. Okay, he's actually just inting the game, by the way. Oh, whatever, bro. I just like how this guy asked for support. Same. I like how this guy asked for support and dog shit core JJ is going to say yes just to fucking grief it. I love it. I love it. This is a good game the first time Smolder in. I love it, bro. Where if you would have just went 80 carry, Tempos would have played 80. Or if you would have went support, dog shit Tempos would have just played 80 carry zillion, which would have been actually so much better. Guys, he's at 122 stacks at 21 minutes. We're not winning. 
And again, Zillion not playing around anybody else except for him. I don't know why. What the fuck is going on? Like, God damn it, just so cringe. Crazy, bro. Crazy. They're literally not playing. They're literally True. not playing the fucking game. Right? Not playing. Like, whatever. True. Smolder's not playing. Why the fuck would Zillion just sit AFK on him the entire time? He's, again, not really playing. Next dragon, though. Somehow. Last one. No, there's a riot. This guy's openly ghosting. No, this guy's openly ghosting with the rioter on his team. Like, NA is so dead. Like, NA there's is a rioter so on dead. his team? Wait, there's actually a rioter on the enemy team. Wait, this guy's welcoming the, the fucking ghosting. God, I hate this game. I hate these people. He's getting Listen, ghosted cool. in his game Riot by the Aeroidian Soul Riot in all chat responding to what he says. It. It's, it's, and it's then Riot's Riot just like writing in... You can't ghost as a streamer, unfortunately. Riot are ghosting as well? Yeah, probably. I mean, I guess what Let's could start. Riot do about Again, ghosting technically? Enjoyable. Like, I, I, get, I obviously think Riot should do something about it, but... What could Riot do? They can't really punish you for watching his stream, right? Like, that's not... That's not anything to do with their game. You're not breaking their terms of service. That's the problem. Like, there's no law around ghosting. Like, Twitch can't ban you for ghosting. And League, you can't get banned for ghosting. You could probably get banned for ghosting if you, like, spam linked his channel. And said, like, look, 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 this guy's streaming. Look, everyone watch his stream and we can win the game. Maybe you could get banned then for, like, cheating? I guess? I don't know if you can get banned for like actively saying that you're ghosting i don't know i don't know what the line is